Hey everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to provide you some of my thoughts, my opinions here on Ethereum versus Bitcoin or Bitcoin versus Ethereum and which is a better investment for the next five to 10 years. Meaning, not which one is going to be the most in price, but which one is going to net you the most profit over the next five to 10 years. And I think there's a really different conversation when you talk about price versus market cap versus percentage growth, right? And these are all three different metrics, and I want to give you some analysis around this. As we can see here, right here on CoinMarketCap, uh, currently Bitcoin is a $743 billion uh, market cap, where Ethereum is $314 billion. We're getting very, very close to Ethereum being 20% of the overall market again. Right now, BTC... 45.7%, Ethereum 19.3%. Well, when will the flipping happen, if it will ever happen? Meaning, Ethereum will flip Bitcoin in market cap. Personally, I think this is set to happen in the next three to five years. Uh, and again, I could be wrong here. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm just telling you what I'm doing with my investments, why I have more money in Ethereum than I do Bitcoin. So I'm starting to give this away, right? I think Ethereum is going to net you more gains over the next five to ten years than Bitcoin. And I think with Bitcoin, a lot of people say it's going to go to $500,000 someday. And I don't disagree with that, right? Which would essentially be, you know, a 10x once it, once it reaches uh, 50000 again, which we all expect it to, right? Uh, I think it'll definitely get there. It would be a 10x from there. So from here, what is it, 11, 12x, something like that, right? Whereas an 11x for Ethereum would take us to only about 23,000. Where I think in the next, by the time Bitcoin is at that high level of 500,000, I think Ethereum is going to be well past 23,000. Just my opinion here, again, not financial advice. I'm going to give you some more interesting background kind of circling around this too. Give you some figures to look at, give you some numbers here. So welcome into the channel if you're new. Hopefully I haven't lost you yet. If you got some value already, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. So real quick, I just want to quickly plug our private community. If you want to be on the inside of things, come on over, become an insider, become a supporter. Uh, I think you're going to really get some value uh, for this. And this is a great time to add on right now. It's beginning of the month. We've got a growing community helping each other grow our portfolios. We're doing it together. There are no such things as stupid questions in our community. Anything. You could be a beginner. You could be somebody who's been in crypto since... 2015, it doesn't matter. I think you're going to learn something. I'm pretty confident in that. So come on over and join us. Can't wait to see you over there. All right. So as we can see, let me go back to coin market cap here real quick. We just see here recently Ethereum. Look at the seven day charts right above my head here. Here's Ethereum's. Look at that seven day versus Bitcoin seven day. That's interesting. Of course, this is coming up uh, on the heels of the EIP 1559 London upgrade, which takes place tomorrow. However, it's interesting to see that Ethereum has been outpacing Bitcoin over the past week, and not by a little bit, by a lot. And uh, it continues to move higher here today, up about 9%, fluctuated between 8 and 9% right now. Bitcoin is up too, up about 4%. Uh, the overall market back green up 5%. So I want to take you inside the Ethereum chart here and take a look at this. You can see here just the types of gains we're having uh, over the past, uh, really, two weeks, right? Because this is way down here on July 20th. It was 1700 and some change. Happy to say I added on to my position. Uh, looked like a genius there. Uh, we do have some support. So anytime it gets down to 1700, just know that you've got some strong support there. And, uh, you know, you can be pretty confident to add on to your position. We haven't seen 1500 since March. Okay, it's been a long time since we've seen that. I don't think we're getting back down there anytime soon. You can see when we come way out here, you can see where we're where we're at with these new lines of support, 1,700, three different times, uh, once in May, once uh, in June, and once in July. So anytime it reaches down to that 1,700 level, uh, my opinion would be go ahead, add on to your position if you're, a, if you're an Ethereum bull like myself. So I want to go on here and give you some more figures here to look at. That's the Ethereum chart again. Uh, but this is the big one, right? Ethereum, the triple halving event, how Ethereum can achieve 150,000 by 2023. Another huge reason, now this is a super bullish prediction, but 
if, if, let's just say for a minute this happens, right? And I'm knocking my pens all over the desk here. <laughs> let's just say if it gets to 150 by 2023. In fact, how about a thought experiment? Let's just say it gets to 100,000, okay? Uh, that would be a huge increase, right? Considering it's at 3,000 now, right? That would be an enormous increase. Do you think Bitcoin can make up the ground if this actually happens, if Ethereum gets to 100K by 2023? I don't know. Considering what we know about Ethereum now and how it can run by itself, it doesn't necessarily have to follow Bitcoin all the time. This is interesting, right? And the triple halving where, I, uh, where they show here that Ethereum will have a sell pressure reduction equivalent to, on, uh, to undergoing all three of Bitcoin's halving events consecutively, meaning this is going to be bigger uh, than what Bitcoin went through. And let me show you kind of what they did here. Um, so this document basically gives some cases. So they're basically saying by January 2023, the base case is 30 to 50K. So according to this research, 30 to 50K is the base case. If things don't go super bullish, 30 to 50K per ETH, right? If we just call it uh, call 3K ETH right now, that means this article, this research, is projecting a base case of 10Xing from, from $3,000 per ETH by 2023, by the beginning of 2023. Can you say the same for Bitcoin, a uh, base case of 10Xing by January 2023? Maybe if you're a Bitcoin bull, and, and don't get me wrong here, I like Bitcoin. I just feel more comfortable with Ethereum at this point in terms of where I want to have most of my money. Uh, in, in terms of picking between one or the other, I still love Bitcoin. I dollar cost average into Bitcoin. I'm going to reap those benefits too, but I want to maybe have a little bit more of my funds in Ethereum because I think the percentage gains that we're going to see over the next three, five, ten years could be higher, at least in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts too on this down below in the comments, uh, but basically what drives the 150k price prediction because that's the super bullish price prediction, right? Well, they've got some liquidity drivers, the staking that's going to take place when they move to proof of stake off of the proof of work. Uh, the demand drivers, these new on-ramps for retail and institutional flows, the demand hasn't really even hit yet with Ethereum. Uh, a lot of institutions don't even have uh, you know, it on their radar, but they will. Uh, then the big catalyst, the triple halving, which is uh, the EIP-1559, which is set to take place uh, here uh, tomorrow, which is huge. And then narrative adoption, price leads narrative, rise in price, and there's going to be narrative adoption, that FOMO factor, right? The fear of missing out. People are going to look at Ethereum and say, well, well, it's much cheaper than Bitcoin, especially on the retail investor side, right? They're going to jump into that first, especially when Bitcoin gets up to 100K. That's going to look like it's out of reach, out of touch. But Ethereum's only 5K at the time, let's just say, hypothetically. Oh, I need to get a full Ethereum. I could do that. I've got some money in the savings. I could just put that in ETH. I think you're going to get a lot more of people like that coming into Ethereum over the next three years, especially because they're going to see the same amount of growth, if not more, than Bitcoin. And they're going to be uh, looking at it psychologically like, well, I can get a full coin if I go into Ethereum. So there's a lot to like about both Ethereum and Bitcoin. But for me, personally, I'm more invested in Ethereum. And just a quick uh, little tidbit here, if you had to put $500 into Ethereum today when market opened, you'd be up $88 right now and 82 cents. And uh, funny thing is, I actually did that. Uh, so I opened up just another little small position, kind of a swing trade position. We'll see. I might just let it ride, but I just had a feeling the price was going to ramp up. So I did buy a little bit more of Ethereum uh, earlier this morning, and it's already up uh, before this little run-up. So if you want to have more of those buy and sell trade alerts, you want more insider content, you want group portfolio access, you want to get a newsletter sent to you with five cryptos to watch every Monday morning, you need to come on over to the Patreon and become an insider. Appreciate the support. Thanks for dropping by. Give the video a thumbs up. Happy investing. Be kind to one another. And I'll see you in the next video.